Welcome folks, in this video we are going to learn about how to download a file from internet. So this is quite easy in Python that you don't need to write a bunches of code. So Python in Python there is a built-in library which is your lib.request which will help us to download the file from internet. And we will actually download this file, your lib.request.html. We are going to download this file and before that we are going to actually open the source code first and you can see that the HTML files source code over here all right let's go back to the code editor if I go back to the code editor first I'm gonna import the module which is URL import request and after that I'm gonna actually give the file URL from where we will download the file and okay let's go back to the i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna pass it here so you can ask over here that what is r r is something which is called raw into the string so r is telling that variable that okay treat this as a raw string don't escape any letter or any symbols all right let's go let's create a function which is download file information and we are gonna give an we are gonna give a parameter which is url and so this file this function will do is like when we'll call the function we will put the uh file URL which we will download from the internet so right now the first step is that we will actually open the URL file to do this we are gonna say file open equals request dot URL open okay so this is responsible for opening the file over the internet and we are gonna give the URL here and after that you're gonna actually uh, read the file so to read this file uh, read the file to read this file we will say file info equals uh, file open so so over here we have opened the file first then we are actually reading the opened file here that's quite simple actually right now the into the next step what you're gonna do is you are going to actually convert the red file into a string format convert into string because it is quite necessary because when we are reading the file it is into bytecode or something else which is not human readable but we are going to convert it into we are going to convert it into a string so that we can read it so to the, the to do this we are going to say file info str which means string and str function will convert the file information into string format so we are gonna say file underscore info so which we get from here this is into the byte format and this is we are converting into text or string format cool right now we need to do something here over here this file the string file is into a single line and this is a problem we can't actually read this because of it's gonna be a like messy thing so we need to actually take the HTML file exactly as it is into the internet to do this we are going to say okay so we will actually split the lines rather than it is into a single line to do this we are gonna say wait, uh, sorry uh, okay split the lines into the into the file okay so to do this you say file lines equals file info str dot split which will help us to split and okay so this will actually help us to split those lines into a readable format and now we are done with actually reading the files completely right now 
what we need to do is storing the information or storing the data which we have got here into a new file to do this we are gonna say a new file let's open a new file which is gonna be like this and we will name the file as file.txt so we are going to actually save the HTML files into a txt file so all the codes inside the HTML file you can see it into a txt file so I will say that it is in write format to do this we are gonna say w w means write and here is the new name of our file which are we are creating uh, I will comment it here uh, creating a new file to store information always do comment it's quite good practice that you c if you comment it later, later it's gonna help you to understand your own code also it will help others to understand your code right now we are going to actually uh, store all information uh, of the file we have read to do this we are going to store the information with a for loop function to do this we are gonna say for info in file lines and we are going to write the information into the new file so we are going to say new file dot write my bad and we are gonna say info plus and we will actually split the line here when we are writing it so we are gonna give a slash n and that's it actually oh thank you that's it we need to okay over here we, we need to actually close the file as well close the file to do this we are gonna say close all right nothing else seems like the comments are a bit redundancy but don't worry guys it's just a few lines it will help you guys to understand the code better okay we are done with reading the files and writing the files now we need to actually call the call the function which is download file information and inside the function we will give our file URL into the parameter okay ah, that's all guys nothing else to do I will right now call I will run the Python file which is python web underscore color that by I think you have your own name and if I run now okay it seems like it is executed if you go back to the root directory you can see a file.txt file has been created if I open it now you can see that all bunches of code inside the HTML file are right now into this file.txt file isn't that awesome I hope guys you understand if you don't understand comment into the comment section I will try my best to help you guys also I will give you a chance to look at the code a few seconds uh, okay and do thumbs up subscribe see you into the next tutorial